Where the Nile rises on the equator is the Africa of the Great Lakes. Uganda is half the size of France. Her 10 million inhabitants have never known famine. Her agricultural wealth, her exports of coffee, cotton, copper, and her developing industry allow her, for the most part, to be less and less dependent on the outside world. It was shortly after the independence of this former British colony in 1962 that Lieutenant Idi Amin Dada became interested in politics. He rapidly became chief of staff and the right-hand man of President Obote, whom he overthrew in 1971 by a coup d'etat. Obote was unpopular and his fall was welcomed by the population. He fled to Tanzania and a reward was offered for him, dead or alive. General Amin soon attracted attention on the international scene with his numerous telegrams to other heads of state. He called Nixon, my dear brother, and wished him a quick recovery from the Watergate affair. He congratulated the Chilean junta when it took power. He ordered the Queen of England to send the Scottish Guard to accompany him to the Commonwealth Conference. 80,000 Asians, installed by the British in Uganda at the beginning of the century, controlled 80% of the country's economy. In 1972, after a dream, General Amin declared the economic war, which meant, on one hand, giving 90 days to the Asians to leave the country, taking with them the strict minimum, and on the other hand, distributing their business to the Ugandans. Today, the economic war has not yet been won. Distribution chains and imports have been disrupted. The country's foreign reserves are at their lowest. In the capital, it is almost impossible to find sugar, flour, imported industrial products, spare parts, or matches. Uganda holds the record for inflation in Africa. In one year, prices have risen from 20 to 50%. On February 10, 1972, to set an example and to combat budding guerrilla warfare, General Amin organized 12 public executions at the same time in the country's main towns. Most observers agree that several thousand Ugandans have disappeared since General Amin seized power. Among the missing, the vice dean of the university, the president of the high court, doctors and former ministers. In 1973, the International Commission of Jurists published a report denouncing Uganda as a lawless country, and it wrote about the missing personalities. There is every reason to think that they have been assassinated by members of the army immediately after their arrest. are looking at General Amin and uh, Uganda as a whole. What will be the future of Uganda? The people are looking at this. <laughs> 